hi guys welcome back to barbie's diary so recall that some weeks before now i had shared with you those things that i do not miss about nigeria and i'm sure some of you would have been rolling your eyes and be like oh please you only just got to canada yesterday guys i'm starting to do this video today which is pretty strange but it will help me to also you know make the video as fun as i want it to be secondly it means that i have to rush the video so that i do not waste you guys time and of course so that my legs don't start to hurt you know pretty early all right guys so in today's video we'll be discussing those things guys that i miss about nigeria yes 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 and if you're like me that you also have relocated from nigeria and you miss all those things please let me know in the comment section so the first thing we'll be talking about now i mean which is like visible to the blind is the need for a support system i think for me i must have undermined what that looked like i feel like uh, it's not that bad just two kids and one husband i can handle it <laughs> guys life i mean a lot of you who have followed me on this journey know that my mom has been with me for the longest time and then i also have an in-house help a domestic help and then i had this on and off elderly woman that if the work is getting so much or if i have extra things to do i just call her in and she comes in with uh she comes in on days when i want her to come in and she does some other work for me as well i really could not be bothered with who does what or who is not doing i just provide the things you need to get the work done and hopefully before i come back from work things are done right god bless you mommy god bless you everyone that helped me like i really must say that right now I'm going through a lot i was talking to my friend recently i said the fact that i get tired is not even an issue for me the fact that because i'm tired today does not mean i'll not be tired tomorrow i will still be tired tomorrow and the day after as in is the never endingness for me yeah it's the i miss the support system i mean that's the number one thing i miss like okay guys let's move on to the next one the next thing that i really miss about nigeria honestly honestly guys has to be the food nigerian food african food it's not like we don't have it here like if you go to most homes or the number of nigerian homes i've been to in canada i found out that we still stick to our nigerian dishes yes you, we might incorporate other things here and there but our mainstay what we like to eat is our native food and we are not ashamed about it right and so i miss the availability of this kind of things I'm so grateful that I was able to bring some of these things in and then of course you can ship at will when you want to but it's not for free it's not as accessible as it is back home if you need to go to the African store the closest African store to me is far away yes I know I said close and far in the same statement but that's true the closest African store to me is really far away and so it's not something that I just remember oh my gosh we do not have this particular spice just go to the African store to get it the way i can do it in nigeria and say oh we do not have this okay quickly go to that store and get it and be back in five minutes we do not have that kind of luxury here if you are going to african store you go with your full list because except you live close by to the african store if you don't then ensure that you're buying things that can last you like a month or if you're shipping things from nigeria you ship in bulk but most times now if i need vegetables i buy frozen vegetables and they don't come out the way i want them to yeah but I mean that's what we're dealing with now i hear that people use kale spinach and all of those things well it's something worth trying at least those ones you get them off of the uh stores we have here the local stores we have here so yeah i'll give it a try but i just miss the fact that these things were accessible fresh okra everything fresh now it has to be frozen okay let's move on really quickly another thing uh of course with food has to be street food you can easily you don't want to make akara but you want to eat akara what's the next thing to do go down the street and get and get some akara some guys don't want to eat they want to eat noodles but they don't want to make noodles they go to the streets to buy noodles some people want to drink tea even to tea guys in lagos street food you will see tea but i don't know why people buy tea outside they do it but that's the story for another day i mean i want puff puff i don't have anywhere that i can quickly buy 20 dollar puff puff like in two seconds i literally have to if i make it myself so which is pretty cool 
or I have to order from someone and give them time to make it and bring it. Maybe before they even bring it to you, you've lost the appetite you wanted to use to eat it before. So it's just so it's just so far away. Yeah. The African food, the street food, they, they feel so far away. If you're not able to do it yourself, well, you might spend more money to order or you might just forget it and just be like, you know what? I'll dead this this um urge to eat this thing and just move on to something else and you know you just in that moment you just feel that oh, i miss home yeah do you guys understand <laughs> okay let's move on really quickly something else that i miss about nigeria has to be the weather i know that this is pretty strange because we have three seasons we have the dry season we have the rainy season and then we have hamatan but here the weather is like this yes you have four seasons and the longest of it is winter and you're like why is summer so short and summer flies by really quickly so i miss the weather i feel like we have great weather in in nigeria or in africa and yeah it's something that sometimes i remember <laughs> during winter i was telling my husband i said it's not possible that god created canada for human beings to live in <laughs> guys i know this sounds funny but i have had to think about the weather thing like how about if god's initial plan is not for human beings to live here like why is it so cool something i miss about nigeria our weather we have a great weather guys great weather if it's raining it's raining if it's sunny it's sunny right yeah another thing that is so oh my gosh i miss this about my country it has to be access to healthcare, guys I'm going to say a story for this one just so that you understand where i'm coming from what i'm saying so some few weeks ago i had to uh, book an appointment with my doctor for something i had concerns about so i called my um, i called the front desk up i said i needed the, an appointment i needed an appointment with my doctor which is like normal and i said she was going to find out the closest appointment for me and guess how many weeks it was three whole weeks so i was like oh okay three weeks that's pretty far off i need days i need weekends because i go to work and i don't want to take excuse from the office for something that i'm just checking up on so i mean it's not that deep it's not an emergency so she just said oh okay lucky for you i found a closer date i'm like oh cool closer date was two weeks i'm like okay this is ridiculous but i'll take it so i took that appointment went for the appointment saw the doctor and then he sent me for some tests which was cool after the test I called back to say, oh, I've gone through, I've gone for the test. Is the result out? Do I need to see the doctor? And she, the front was like, oh yeah, we got your results. Blah, blah, blah. I was going to call you later. Yes, you need to come in. Let me look for another date for you. And I'm like, and then they are telling you, you have to wait for another 20 days. I miss that in Nigeria, you can just sleep, wake up, see your doctor and yeah, get things done. You don't need to book appointments upon appointment just to do the those things. But I can relate to what the issues are here, and we all hope that it gets better. But I mean, for now, I miss the unfiltered access to healthcare back home. Yeah. So something else that I miss about Nigeria, from dancing, you guys will know. Eh, eh, has to be O1 beds and clubs, guys. So I know you guys will be like, ah a struggle guys yes that's something to miss to be honest with you like how is it that um there are limited o one beds here there are but they are limited like people don't you know how in nigeria you give birth to a baby and then you throw a party and then in three months time you throw another party for dedication and then perhaps down the line again one year you throw your baby's party in between the other things to celebrate you bought a new house you bought a new car you did this there's always something to do at and all one beds are just so they're just the spice that you need after a stressful week it's just a cool way to relax and the fun part is all the cultural displays at all one beds the ashray bees the food the souvenirs uh you know everything in that space is just so beautiful and colorful and that's not so much here i mean if you live a really quiet life here you possibly might not even attend any one base 
any old one bear in years and that is the truth like there are people here that have not had reasons to go for any weddings or parties even clubs as well and you go to clubs here they close at 2 a.m so my extended and you're like have you been to my city have you been to lagos do you know what party is do you know what the club is like you're closing the club by two my god people are coming to the club in lagos at 4 a.m that's when they're just arriving so people so that's to tell you that it's lit every day it's lit every day but here so they don't even open every day and if they open you know they get they get to close and it just kills the vibe somehow so we miss that as we miss that as well something else would be the ease at which you can get handymen so and i would say ease as well as the price yeah their rates of service so usually their services are usually cheap compared to what we have here i mean I've, i must have mentioned that in several videos handymen are expensive but in nigeria just i remember my husband had a carpenter that once he picks his call once he picks his phone to call him the guy is running down he had an electrician he had uh a laundry guy he had a, a baba he had all these handymen that once he says you know what i'm running late but i'll be there by so so time they'll wait for him to come do the service and he'll pay and they'll go even up to laundry men and yeah all of those kind of services the ac guy a plumber he had all these people that you know they were at his beck and call but right here you barely can afford them and if you would afford them you pay for their time so yeah the ease at which we the access to this thing is for some days sometimes we just think i'm like ah well, our carpenter or our tailor is so good if they were here they'll be making so much money we just miss that that access to those kind of services for you know relatively cheap amount yeah okay so something else would be the bus system that's something that is it's funny yeah because i mean i've spoken about bus system in nigeria and i've complained bitterly but i also know that in nigeria if i want to go out i just stand up and if i'm going to use the bus i get to the bus stop and i have like 20 people 20 or 20 conductors calling the same route and i'm choosing which i want to go in i will look at okay is it full are there ladies in the vehicle as well you know you just you know all those things you look at that to be sure that you're entering the right vehicle but here with the bus system it's such a planned system that you just cannot up and leave you need to plan with when the bus is leaving and that eats into your time because for instance if what you need to do ends at a certain time and there's no bus available maybe the next the bus that is available just left and you are not done the next bus that is coming is coming in 25 minutes or 20 minutes or 15 minutes and then you have to just wait the time out there are no two buses that are going to the same route on the same road it's just one at a time maybe after another 15 10 minutes another one goes so it just eats into your plan or like nigeria you just throw ah i'm okay see you later i'm going to the market and then you just go and enter board one nah board one bus at the junction and nah. you have to look at the map look at the time has the bus gone when is the next one coming what is happening and it even gets worse in winter another thing that i miss about nigeria guys would be the school system would be the school system guys so the school system here is funny <laughs> yeah it's funny because at five years that's when you, at least in most provinces you start kindergarten at five years and at five years in nigeria i'm sure you're like in primary one or two in nigeria ryan had this kindergarten ryan just started some weeks back he had completed kindergarten he had completed nursery school back in nigeria before we even came to canada so it's like nigerian school system is way ahead of the canadian school system when it comes to uh yeah age and classes an average nigerian three-year-old is able to write one to hundred in in a heartbeat but here they're still learning to hold the pencil or to identify colors or write one to ten or and it's strange yeah like what's happening they always get better at the end of the day so if that is what it is it's what it is but i just find it weird and it's something i miss about nigeria yeah the fact that i know sometimes we complain that the assignments or the homework can be a lot they're like oh my gosh is it the kids they want to do this or they want the parents to do the homework they give a lot of homework even the schoolwork they are bombarding them and you're like ah this is too much this is just a small child like 
Brian was reading states and capital the entire thing at two two year plus and I think he was still in nursery at the time so yeah impressive but here the five-year-old is just started school it is what it is <laughs> another impo very important thing we miss about Nigeria would be our friends to be honest with you we miss our friends we are like the lucky few people that have friends from Nigeria that are here in Canada and some people literally come here and they leave everybody they know family friends everybody in Nigeria and it was really tough on them and we're grateful to God that you know that we, that might not be our case but of course we still have friends in Nigeria that we wish they were here with us we really wish you know you miss your friends the distance is just something else the time zone you really want to talk to them and then they just seem so far away either when they're waking up is when you're sleeping when they're sleeping you're just waking up and just feel like it's not the, it's never the right time to to you know, to have a conversation a proper conversation you know i miss i miss i miss that and yeah i intentionally try to make out time to connect with them because i don't want to lose that bond yeah even though we are far apart i don't want to lose it so a new place that you, you expand your network by making more friends it is what it is okay so what else and lastly but not the least definitely would be something else i miss about nigeria generally would just be the hustling spirit nigerians are the bubbly people i was talking to somebody today and i just said it is how we we do all of these things and still keep a pretty face still smile still live life is how we're going through a lot as a nation or as a people and then we're still pushing we're still hustling we're still breaking boundaries both home and abroad it's just it's just beautiful it's just it just makes you proud as a nigerian or as an african person you just feel like oh my gosh i'm from something so great so beautiful so important because how is it that despite all the stones that has been thrown at us we are building blocks with them like how is it we are so i just miss that hustling spirit you know here they seem really conservative like nobody wants to stress and you can sell me on that to be honest because i don't want to stress at all <laughs> nobody wants to stress here everyone just wants the see don't stress me i will not stress you let's not stress each other life is already what it is already so let's just leave you know but in nigeria everybody is going for it everybody's hustling you know if you want to buy bread by 2 a.m in nigeria you will see someone that will sell for you especially in you know those metropolitan cities like lagos abuja you will see someone that will sell bread for you at 2 a.m especially in that my lagos ah somebody will say what do you want to buy by 4 a.m there's somebody you know and you sometimes you see people sell some kind of thing i'm like who buys this thing on a regular but they're selling and they're making money right out, out, out of it so it's the hustling spirit for me i miss all of that i pray that we even now that we're here that the nigerians here we don't lose that that fire in us that that hustling spirit that we're known for we don't come here and become to and begin to be cold or begin to is well to uh, begin to lose ourselves and while it's okay to be conservative i mean our identity is that we go for it anywhere we are we go for it we we break boundaries is our names you'll be hearing and i'm just so proud to be a part of something so beautiful <laughs> i can i speak glowingly of nigeria because i mean that that place formed me and the reason why i'm here is because i have something that i was able to bring from there here so if, if it was of value they would not want me so that's that's something to be proud of so i'm proud of nigeria i'm proud of um yeah immigrants that have taken that bold step to move miles away from home it's such a difficult thing guys and today we're at this um nigerian group meeting and put it that way and you know we're discussing and we said you really do not understand what it is unless you get to experience that that is such a bold move and i it kudos to all of us kudos to all of us and i know that is sometimes it's difficult when you think about you know all the things you have to you had to leave behind to be here but 
I mean, look at us. Down the line, we'll be glad that we made that choice. Okay, to be here. All right, so before this video begins to become emotional, let us call it a day right now. So if you are like me, a new immigrant to this country, what are those things that you miss about Nigeria? Please let me know, or your country, whatever country you are, you immigrated from to whatever part of the world, what do you miss about your home country? Celebrate your home country in my comment section. Which of all of these things I have mentioned came to you as a shock? I would like to know all of this and many more in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I do hope that you find time to subscribe. And yes, I'll see you another time. Bye guys. Mwah.